Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Naima, and in today's video, we're going to be continuing on with my favorite series. This one's going to be on stylers, um, cream stylers, and then I'll do another video on, on gels. So first off, we have one by Shea Moisture. If you have not tried this, I don't know what you're doing, but this is the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. This is a small six ounce jar. Um, but it's one of the best curl defining creams out there. I mean, unless you don't like coconut oil, which is, you know, unfortunate because it's such an amazing product. But it just is so moisturizing, has an amazing shine, and that's what it says on the front here. It's uh, to moisturize and curl define thick and curly hair, which is what I have. The next few I have are from Camille Rose Naturals, and I've used this one since my original TWA days, like three and a half years ago, four years ago. Um, this is the Camille Rose Naturals Aloe Whipped Butter Gel. I don't think this really has enough hold to be used as a starter by itself, but that's just my hair. But um, it's very moisturizing, it's whipped. Um, smells like cake batter, it is amazing, and it's just amazing. It has aloe vera and macadamia oil. I don't believe this has coconut oil in it. Yeah, no coconut oil in this one. Alright, next we have the Almond Jai Twisting Butter. Um, this one is really good for twist outs, unfortunately my hair is too short for twist outs, but when my hair was longer, I would always grab this one. It is absolutely amazing. It smells good. It has amazing hold. Very light smell. Um, then there's sweet almond milk and honey in this one. There's also no coconut oil in this one either. The last one I have by Camaro Rose Naturals is the Style Setter. This is a new one that I recently tried. It's very, very hydrating. Not much hold. Um, I think the consistency has changed though. I remember it being like a really, really thick, it was almost too thick for me to use, but it's a lot creamier now, I don't know if you can see. Super thick does not come out of the jar, but it used to be thicker than this. The smell, I did not like this smell at first, but it's grown on me. It's, I don't know what it is, but it's interesting. But I do like the smell now that I've gotten used to it. This one does have coconut water and coconut oil in it, so if it comes up to those ingredients, I would avoid this one. But it's very hydrating. The next one I have is also a newer product that I've added to my stash. It is the Myel Organics uh, Pomegranate and Honey Twisting Souffle. Now I've never used this one for a twist out because my hair has been pretty short lately. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry if you hear those stupid birds. They're, they always want to do this when I film. It was totally quiet before I filmed. Anyway, now I've only used this one for a wash and goes, um, and it's amazing. It's extremely thick, extremely moisturizing, it has great hold, and the smell. If you have not smelled the pomegranate and honey lime, you need to just smell it because it's amazing. I've been loving um, this along with the leave-in and the gel, like I have that in my hair right now actually. Those three com combined give me the best wash and go ever. Um, and this is amazing. So if it's not, I have to buy this one online because my local sellers doesn't have it, which is sad. My local sellers doesn't really have any natural hair products, honestly. But this is very amazing. I highly, highly, highly recommend you try this one if you have thick curly hair. Or even, it's supposed to be for type 4 hair, I believe, which I don't really do hair typing, so yeah. It's just, it's very thick and creamy. I don't know if I show you guys them. Consistency. And I've used this one like a billion times and I've barely dipped to the jar. Like, this is gonna last me forever. Okay, and this is a very new product that I just recently tried. I love it so much. It's very expensive. Which I'm not happy about, but it works so well. It's worth the money. This is the Diva Curl Super Cream Coconut Curl Styler. I've not featured this one on my channel yet. If you guys want to see a wash and go using Diva Curl, just let me know. 
Um, this is very good. If you have the coins for this, I'd say try it. It does have coconut oil in it because it's a coconut curl styler. Um, but the slip on this is amazing. Didn't mention that on the other ones. The other ones have amazing slip as well. But this has really good slip. It smells good. I think. It's kind of perfumey in a way. Like it smells like a salon product, I guess, which is what it is. Um, but it's really amazing. And you can trust the Curl because they don't have no sulfates, parabens, and it's silicone free. So those are the type of products that I like to use in my hair. I don't use anything with silicones, parabens, sulfates even. I don't, I, well, I won't say I don't use sulfates. I use sulfates in my hair is like out of whack but we're getting off topic. So yes, I do recommend this one. I've only used it a couple of times, but I love it. All right, and that concludes my favorite stylers. Pretty quick video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.